I just wanted to show you the most efficient and cost effective way to sharpen pastels that I personally do. So I mainly use four different types of pastel pencils. I use the Stabilo Carbothello, the Faber-Castell Pit Pastel, the Derwent Pastel Pencil and the Carandash Pastel Pencil. So when it comes to sharpening pastel pencils, you'll find that everybody has their own opinion as to which one works the best. So I thought I'd share my experiences. I've tried a bunch of different handheld sharpeners. This is just an example of three of the sharpeners that I've used. The one on the right hand side was just a really cheap sharpener that I bought from an art shop. I find that uh, it might work for a couple of minutes but the pastel just seems to crumble straight away. The Faber-Castell sharpener in the middle there works for a little while um, but the blades get blunt really quickly and start to break the pastel pencils. Um, the black wing one on the left there was actually the best option for a handheld sharpener that I've found. It does last quite a long time but eventually the blades start getting blunt again and you end up having to replace these blades that are really quite expensive to get in Australia. I'm not sure if there is an Australian equivalent to this brand, but um, I can't seem to find an inexpensive company that supplies them. So it's not really a cost effective way for me to sharpen pastel pencils. I actually use this sharpener for graphite and coloured pencils sometimes and it works brilliantly for that. But yeah, for pastel pencils I would not suggest using them. So because of all these issues that I'd been having with the handheld sharpeners, I started googling um, better options for sharpening pastel pencils and a lot of people had recommended these manual hand crank sharpeners. I actually had the Derwent Super Point Mini, I believe it was called, um, because it was very easily accessible within Australia. Um, I also tried the Derwent Super Point uh, standard sized sharpener as well. I just seem to have issues with both of these sharpeners with it, um, the blades going blunt really quickly despite me taking care of it quite well um, and I just I had a lot of issues with breakage with them. So I ended up ordering this Swordfish manual crank handle sharpener online. Um, it, I still seem to have some issues with it but just not as much as the Derwent. After working with pastels and pastel pencils for a few years, I've realized that you don't actually need a very sharp point on your pastel pencils. And I'll go into more detail in a second about that. But I did want to show you how to use this because I do actually use it sometimes if I really do need a fine point on my pastel pencil. So it's really quite easy to use. You just press that button on the bottom there to bring it out and then you hold the same button to open up the hole a little bit so you can push the pastel pencil all the way in and once you let go it will hold it firmly into place. Now it actually comes with a little contraption so that you can uh, secure it firmly onto your desk instead of having to hold the sharpener still like I'm doing now. This sharpener actually has an auto stop so when the pencil is sharp it won't uh, continue to sharpen away your pencil. However, I stopped just a bit before that, so it's not a really fine tip on the end of the pencil. And you can continue sharpening it until it gets to a fine point, just like this one. Um, but as soon as you apply any pressure, the tip just snaps off, so there's no point wasting any more of your pastel. Just sharpen it until it's nearly sharp. So you might find the tip of the pastel pencil has broken off inside the sharpener on occasion. You can unscrew the back of the sharpener and take out the part where the blades are and you'll be able to see the nib stuck inside there. And I just basically use a paper clip that I've unbent um, to push the little broken part back out of the sharpener. So it's really quite an easy fix. And then you can just put the sharpener back together the same way you took it apart. Unless you're me who seems to be having some issues. Oh, there we go, perfect. So all the pencil shavings just collect in this bottom drawer here, so you can just take that out and tip it into the bin. So when you're using sharpeners for pastel pencils, I find that the blades get dull really quickly. So graphite actually helps lubricate the blades and keep them sharper for longer. So after a couple of pastel pencils, I'll put through a woodless graphite pencil. It can be any brand of woodless graphite pencil. I'm pretty sure I bought these really cheap in a bulk pack from eBay. 
And by making sure you do this every few pencils, you'll find that your sharpener stays sharp for quite a lot longer and you'll have to replace the blades less. So I only really use the crank handle manual sharpener when I definitely need a fine point, which is usually only on the last layer of the final details or when I sign my name. So I actually mainly use a craft or Stanley knife um, just to remove the wood casing on the outside of the pastel. So these are some of the examples of pastel works that I've completed without having a sharp tip on my pastel pencil for 99% of the painting. And you can definitely achieve realism without having that really sharp point on your pastel pencil. So I'll show you how I use the craft knife to sharpen the pastel pencils. So I'm basically using the craft knife to really carefully shave off the layers of the wood casing around the pastel. So as you can see, I'm pushing it really gently with my thumb away from my body and my hand. So it's really hard for you to actually cut yourself. And I know that a lot of people worry about that one using a knife, but the way that I'm showing you here, it's really hard to actually do that. And I just continue rotating the pencil until I've shaved off enough of the wood casing to have a little bit of the pastel come through at the end. And as you can see here, it's really not sharp at all, but if you look closely, there are sharp bits on all of the edges. So there's not a sharp point as such, but you can use those sharp edges to create really detailed lines. So this is just an example of the size of the lines that you can create by just using the edges of the pastel there. And you can continue rotating the pastel around to find the different sharp points on the pastel pencil. And by sharpening my pastels this way, I don't have to waste time trying to fix issues with the sharpeners. Um, and I actually end up wasting a lot less of my pastel pencil because I'm using the entire thing rather than losing half of my pastel inside the sharpener every time I'm trying to get a really sharp point. I can use the entire pencils this way. So out of the four different pastel pencils that I use, the Pit Pastel and the Carbothello are the only two that I would suggest actually using inside the manual crank handle sharpener. These two have a little bit of a harder pastel than the Derwent and the Caran d'Ache, meaning they'll break a lot less easily inside the sharpener than the other two will. The Derwent pastel pencil is not as soft as the Caran d'Ache one, but it is a little bit softer than the Carbothello or the Pit Pastel. And the issue with the Caran d'Ache Pastel is that it actually doesn't fit inside the Crank Handle Sharpener at all. So I'm just going to show you how I would sharpen the Caran d'Ache Pastel Pencil to a fine point. Um, and I wouldn't actually recommend doing this because it really does break quite easily um, and you're better off using the Pit Pastel and the Stabilo if you can get away with using those. But I do know that sometimes you need that soft pastel to be able to get those really bright highlights at the end. So I'm going to show you anyway. Just be really gentle with it when you do actually end up with the fine point because it will break quite easily. So I basically start out doing the exact same thing as before by removing the wooden casing from the outside. And then I'll just go through and use the blade to really gently shave off the tip of the pastel pencil. Just make sure that you continue to rotate the pencil around to make sure that you're evenly shaving off the end of the pencil. So this is about as sharp as I would go with this pastel, otherwise the tip will just keep breaking off. And if you really did need a finer tip than what the craft knife will do, then I would suggest using the pit pastels or the Carbothello inside the crank handle sharpener. Another thing that I wanted to show you was how to sharpen pencils when they get too small to fit into the sharpener. And it also is too small to hold with the craft knife as well. It just makes me feel like I'm going to cut my fingers by mistake. So I basically just use a pencil extender. So you can get a bunch of different types of pencil extenders. This one is a Derwent one. It came in a packet of two. And basically you just unscrew it and put the pencil into the end and just screw it on really tightly to make sure it doesn't fall out when you do go to sharpen it. So now you have that extra length with the handle of the pencil extender to hold on to rather than trying to hold on to the tiny little pencil. And then you just do the exact same thing as before with the craft knife. Thanks for watching guys.